the first wave I really saw was the one I was on and it's insane. Yeah, it really blew my mind. But to actually come here with Surfing Australia as a camp and to have coaches, shapers, fitness people, just everyone around us here to make sure that we're monitoring how we feel, making sure that we're staying on top of things and just being aware of what's going on. It's incredible knowledge to have. I can't believe we've got this opportunity for the Australian surfers to really progress and to see their level go from day one to day three is just mind blowing and very proud. I guess that's the beauty of the wave pool. There's a lot of repetition and a lot of trial and error and so many opportunities to pretty much do whatever you want. It's just like a, a blank canvas. Got here yesterday at two in the afternoon and by three in the afternoon I tried three different boards and worked out what works and what didn't and, and why. It's going to accelerate the level of surfing so quickly. As soon as everyone can, can get the chance to come here, try boards, try moves, it's, it's going to be incredible to watch how quickly it accelerates. I've been doing this a while and I've, I've learned a ton in the last three days and that's without even getting on to what I know the athletes I look after have learnt as well. The Olympics are a new area for professional surfing, so to have the support of the AIS is incredible and we're already seeing what wonderful opportunities we're getting from that support and if we want to bring home the gold medals, that's what you need. Performance directors across all our Olympic sports probably are presented with the same complex challenge and that challenge is the efficiency of time. There's 762 days until Tokyo as of today. You know, in our sport surfing, time is actually probably the biggest barrier that we have. I don't know of another training environment where we could have achieved the amount of gains that we have than here at Surf Ranch.